Hello, I am so excited to share that we now have an update when it comes to GA4 and web stories. Nothing like the last minute, but here we are, and at least we have an update um, before the actual rollout. So I'm excited to share this with you and excited to share how to connect web stories to GA4. So there are a few different schools of thought when it comes to this, and Previously, I've always recommended and several other kind of tech companies, ad companies, things like that also recommend, um, but creating when there was universal analytics, creating a separate property to track your web stories. That is going to be what I recommend with GA4. It's just better to keep them separately. If you're using UTM codes, which I do have a video on that, if you're a client of ours, we implement UTM tracking codes as well. Um, though, but those codes track the actual traffic to your site. And so separating the two out is the recommendation that I am giving currently, just so that it doesn't muddy the waters, especially if you are serving ads on your site. Um, it doesn't lower your RPMs, things like that. So this is my current recommendation. You may see some people recommend keeping them all in one property, but again, it, it can, you know, just kind of muddy the waters and potentially lower RPMs, cause some issues, things like that. So that's why I'm recommending to keep the two properties separate. And of course, if that changes in the future, um, if larger ad companies recommend something differently, then we'll update that recommendation. But for the time being, this is what we're recommending um, and what we're recommending as a best practice, again, just so that you can track your data data even better. So to get started, you want to go to your analytics and you go to your settings and we're in my settings right now. We're going to create property and we will just name it Google Web Stories. And then you can click next business details. You can just, you know, fill out whatever works best for your business, generate leads. And then here, I'll go back. So business objectives, start collecting data. You want to choose a platform that's web. And so my URL for my web stories is lovinglivinglancaster.com backslash web stories. And so you can name it if you want to. So web stories or something like that. Um, but you want to make sure that all of these are just leave everything as is. Make sure this is ticked on. Make sure this is all here and then click create stream. And then here is your measurement ID. So you can click out of this because we're going to install this manually for WordPress users. So you want to copy this measurement ID right here. And in WordPress, you want to go to your stories settings, and then you will copy and paste this ID, ID here and save it. And that's all that you have to do. Um, to set that up. It will take a little bit to start tracking that data. So if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you go to your property and you're not seeing it over the next 48 hours, then you may just want to double check. But like I said, it does, GA4 is a little bit delayed, so it does take some time to see this, but this will help you track views to stories. Um, you can also, of course, look in Discover under Search Console. That shows the data as well. Um, and then, like I said, if you've implemented UTM codes, then I will be releasing a new video as well showing you how to view those views actual clicks to your site from stories using those UTM codes. I'll be releasing that video as well um, in the next couple of days, week or so, just to show you how to view that data in GA4. Um, but for the time being, this is what we're recommending and how to set up GA4 and to connect it to your web stories. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Facebook group. You just search Facebook, Google Web Stories and Pinterest Strategy with Allison Lancaster. I'll also leave a link in this video. Um, or if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave a comment on this video or you can fill out the contact form on my website. It's allisonrlancaster.com. Thank you.